Hello, this is Arkady from JT5. Today we're going to do a quick walk around of a GT5 WL1200 at 3.8 ton wheel loader with a 1.2 ton lifting capacity. To get access to the engine, we will lift the engine cover. Very easy to do. It is supported by the airlift cylinders. And inside we'll find an Italian made Cochler um, KDI 1903 engine with 55 horsepower. It's diesel. Also, we have an option to use a Cummings engine if you choose so. Over here, we have our battery compartment with a two 12 volt batteries inside. This wheel loader comes with the 20.570 R16 tires, which are the same on both back and front. Over here we have our diesel tank with the side glass and the cap with the lock. Upgraded cabs have this side door where we can find our windshield washer fluid uh, tank and our AC and heater unit. This loader has all the pins with grease points that you can see over here inside for this pin the grease point is on the other side. On the front of the loader we have our uh, oil cooler. This is a standard bucket that comes with this loader. Also we're going to show you a snow blower and the dozer blade that the customer ordered with this machine. This loader has a hydraulic uh, quick hitch for the attachments. Here we have our selector lever uh, for our hydraulic system between the quick hitch and the uh, hydraulic attachments. Also we have these three ports uh, to connect the attachments to and that includes the case train as well. On the front here you see our uh, road lights, turn signals and work lights up top. Uh, also this loader comes equipped with handy mirrors. You can operate this machine with the door open because we have a door latch that holds it secure in an open position. To release it there is a button press and close the door. On the driver's side we have our hydraulic oil tank with a lockable cap and the side glass. Here is the second uh, battery compartment if you want to. If there is ever a need you can add up to additional two batteries to have four 12 volt batteries on this loader. Here is a view of the other side of the engine. On the back we have our uh, brake, reverse and turn signals. We have our hitch if you ever need to pull anything with this loader. And plus on the top you have your rear work lights and the backup camera. Now let's take a look inside the cab and see what we got there. It comes with a 4-speed transmission where you have your selector for the high and low gear and then also uh, forward and reverse. So two gears forward, two gears reverse. The steering wheel has the adjustable column that can be moved. Underneath the steering wheel, we have our buttons to control ventilation, uh, work lights, uh, windshield washer fluid, uh, wiper blades, and hazard lights. On the right, we have our turn signal with the uh, road lights, high and low beam selector. 
this machine comes with AC and heat with the selectors right here where you can adjust the flow and the temperature. Since it has an upgraded cab, you have an option of a window that opens up and the stopper is here with the uh, pneumatic cylinder. Uh, the backup camera turns on automatically when you put a reverse gear. Upgraded cab has a radio with two speakers. And also you can insert a USB stick here if you want to play your own tunes. It also has an additional fan that's controlled right here. Besides the joystick, we have two levers to control hydraulic attachments, including the uh, quick connect uh, to put on and take off the attachments. From the safety features, we have our uh, glass brake hammer and the fire extinguisher. Since it has an automatic transmission, there's only two pedal. Uh, on the left, you have your brake. And on the right, you'll have your gas pedal. Besides the seat, you have your handbrake. And it goes up and down. Seat has adjustable armrests on both sides. And here you have the adjustments to lift it uh, up and down. Uh, on the side of the seat, you can control the tilt of your back. And then the seat can also slide up and forward by pulling this lever. And for the right comfort, this loader comes with the uh, air seat. Uh, the weight on the seat can be adjusted over here with this knob. This loader has very easy controls to lift the bucket uh, and uh, drop it. You have this joystick where you push it just forward or backwards and to uh, curl your bucket left and right. Very good. All right, here's how the hydraulic quick hitch attachment works. Disengage the pin. Tilt it forward until we clear the pins. And now we're just gonna reverse. This is the snowblade attachment with the rubber bottom uh, to protect the pavement for our wheel loader. And if you come around to the back, you can see the 
uh, two hydraulic cylinders that control the uh, angle of the blade. Now we're going to show you how the blade can change its angle with the pull of a lever from inside the cab. You can pick any angle within the range and plow away. This is a snow blower attachment for our wheel loader. Uh, it has two motors. One will drive this part and the second will drive the inside uh, chute. Uh, also, you can see that uh, even the bearings here have the grease points. The direction of the snow uh, can be adjusted. Uh, this top part adjusted by the loosening the nut on top. Once it loosened, you can lift it up and down. And then uh, on this side, you have a handle. You control the angle. You just turn. Uh, also here, we can notice that uh, one of the motors here has the uh, third hose for the case drain and it's going from the top and connected to this port over here. The rest of the connections are the same as on the other attachments. Let's operate the snowplow. Uh -huh. 